believe it? This Levi is our last week of Bible chat for this school year. I know I'm hiding behind my glasses because oh, I'm so sad. Oh, Levi, don't be sad. Some of our friends will be moving on to kindergarten. And although we will miss you, we are excited for you. And then some of our friends will be here for the summer and even back for next school year. And Miss Ashley can't wait to be back in person with you next year for Bible Chat. We have a great story for our last Bible Chat of the year. But first, it's time to praise Jesus. Are you ready to praise Jesus with us? Okay, great. Let's stand up and give Jesus our praise. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. The monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The monkeys in the jungle say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Let everything that God made say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me. Rawr. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rawr, rawr, rawr. The bears in the woods say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He loves me. 
for he lives with you and will be in you. John 14, 17. Oh, that's great, friends. Really good job learning the Bible, God's words. That's so good. Let's do that one one last time. You know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. John 14, 17. Great job! Now let's open up the Bible for one more story in Bible chat this year. Let's hear something else that happened to Paul and hear how Jesus was there to keep him safe. Turn up your listening ears. All right, boys and girls, Miss Ashley has her Bible out to Acts. And remember, we're hearing about Paul and Jesus had been keeping Paul safe. Yes, the soldiers were keeping him safe and marching by him, and those were riding horses beside of him, too. They took him to a new place called Caesarea. Well, the king in Caesarea, he decided that Paul needed to go on to Rome. Yeah, that's where Jesus had planned for Paul to go, to tell people about Jesus. So Paul and a lot of other Prisoners, a lot of other people who were put in jail with Paul were put on a big boat, a ship, and they sailed on the big blue water on the big ship to the big city of Rome. But this time of year, it was a stormy time of year. So a lot of people were so afraid. They were scared that they were going to get stuck in a big storm. One day, the sky got really, really dark. And a big, strong wind came up. It was almost like a hurricane on the water. It was such strong wind. It was knocking the boat this way and that. Waves were crashing into the boat. They were so afraid that they were going to have a shipwreck or that they would tip overboard. It began to rain and thunder and lightning. It was so scary. Do you know that this storm kept blowing and going for days? The people were so afraid. But God sent an angel to Paul when he was sleeping. And the angel said, do not be afraid. The angel told Paul that God would keep them safe, that they would have to end up being stuck on an island up on the beach, but that they would be safe. God was with Paul and God sent him a message to make him feel better and to remind him he was right there with him. The storm kept going and going for weeks. Finally, they could see a beach. They could see through the dark clouds. They could see sand. Paul told the others, here, take and eat some bread to help you be strong. And Paul prayed. He broke the bread and thanked God for it and prayed and shared it with everyone. And they ate until they were full and they were stronger because of the food and from knowing that God was with them, that God would help them be safe. And then all of a sudden, boop, the big ship crashed. There was a shipwreck and it got stuck in the sand, in a sandbar before they could get to the beach. So Paul and the others had to jump overboard they were grabbing onto parts of the ship and they swam to the shore. They got out and they made a fire and there were people that lived on the island that were nice to them. God was keeping them safe. 
just like he promised. God kept them safe and they stayed there until it was time to get back on a boat and go to Rome. Jesus always is with us. He always has a good plan to help us. He loves us so much. Wow, Miss Ashley, I can't believe that Paul even got in a shipwreck. I know, can you believe that storm made the ship wreck and wash up onto an island? The island of Malta? But God's plan was to get Paul to Rome so that he could teach more people about Jesus. So, of course, God kept him safe. Jesus is always with us and always has a plan for us in our lives. And we learned in Bible Chat this year that we can be strong and courageous because Jesus is with us everywhere we go. Even in a shipwreck, and even if we were on an island. But we've also learned that Jesus wants to live with us and in us, in our hearts, with his Holy Spirit. Jesus wants to be with us every day. We can do a good job like Paul and keep going for Jesus with his help, with Jesus' help in our hearts. Let's pray and let's thank Jesus that we can keep growing and learning about him from reading his word, the Bible, from going to church and praising and singing to Jesus. And by praying, let's pray now. Close your eyes. Jesus, thank you that we can learn and grow and keep doing a good job for you like Paul. Help us to keep learning about you, Jesus. And thank you that you're with us everywhere that we go. We can be strong and courageous. Thank you that you want to live with us and in us. Thank you, and we love you. Amen. Amen. Well, boys and girls, Levi and Miss Ashley, hope you have a very happy summer. Yes, happy summer. And some of you will see soon for Bible Chat next year. That's right. We can't wait to see you again soon. But until then, remember that we love you. Yes, and Jesus loves you. <laughs> That's right. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.